This picture posted on social media has a lot of people shaking their heads. A car on I-35 downtown weighed down with a number of appliances. Yeah, that's crazy. There is a serious issue here. What's safe to haul on top of a car or a truck and what's not? Our Kelly Taylor joins us live out on the road tonight with reaction from drivers. Kelly? So, Brad, Ellen, we're just outside of that 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. time frame where AAA says most of those debris related crashes happen now we're taking a look at i-35 right now and you can see it's a little bit of traffic we're in the heart of rush hour now imagine if there was a car or a truck that was hauling a mattress or maybe even furniture on top and it flew off that could create quite the problem uh, i've seen uh, couches stacked on top of each other pallets uh washer and dryer strapped to the top of little wagons uh, crazy stuff but it was a slight surprise that's ridiculous <laughs> that, that's highly unsafe <laughs> that's crazy this picture of someone driving on i-35 hauling everything but the kitchen sink caught my attention on social media it reminded me of a time i was driving on a highway and a mattress flew off a truck in front of me and i ran into it it goes beyond just worrying about yourself and trying to get whatever you have to your destination. It's you got to worry about everybody else around you. We can all agree this is unsafe and probably not secured very well. But Sergeant Bill Lowe with Missouri State Highway Patrol says as long as your load doesn't obstruct your vision from front to back and is properly secured, it's OK. If the wind were to pick up and move that item, uh, you know, that could that could be dangerous. According to a AAA study, drivers could be fined $300 in Missouri for unsecured loads and up to $500 in Kansas. Scrap metal is a big one. In May 2011, a woman was killed in Lawrence after a piece of metal flew off of a pickup truck and went right through her windshield. MSHP says in 2019, there were 1,050 crashes statewide where debris was involved five of those deadly. In Kansas, AAA says there are about 150 debris related crashes per year and one to two of them are deadly. Zachary Churchill has told many cars damaged by debris and he says borrow a pickup, rent a box truck, something. Don't do stuff like that. Now, if you must use your car or truck to move things, make sure they're tied down with rope, net or straps. The large items tied directly to the trailer or the car cover the entire load or with tarp or netting and don't overload your car or truck. Now, double check always to make sure that your load is secure. Live in Kansas City, Kelly Taylor, KCTV 5 News.